Okay, bro, we good. I'm gonna start at seven. But you got it, bro. All right. Hey, oh, shut up. Hold on. It's lucky. Good. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we should be in. Yeah. Um, come, brother, we should. Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and truth and for ruling well. And peace, salutation to all you who came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well as to you believers, anyhow, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the men as well as the women, you know, the hopeful elect. We the best from uh, GMS Hawaii. I'm the brother Kahana La. I'm the brother Kahana How would the police be back And uh, we just, you know, fellowshipping uh, and through the spirit, we wanted to do a, a lesson. And as you brothers and sisters can see in the title, we're going to talk about, you know, um, Jacob's uh, blessing versus Esau's blessing, which uh, in the current time we living under Esau's blessing. You yeah. know, we we are being punished for our, for our sins, for our iniquity. You know, and part of that punishment is us having to see and witness and and, and basically be part of Esau's blessing, man. Yeah. You know, which is what we're currently living under, uh, yeah. our, our earth or, or our system, you know, that's uh, ran by wickedness, mm -hmm. you know, and where, where everything is defiled. Yeah. And as, you know, we see the days go by, it gets wickeder and wickeder, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and let's, well, we were in, in jujitsu, you know, we were minding our own business, but then some ladies were talking about feeding the kids pork and bacon. Yeah. So it's like yeah. no matter what we do, even on our on our you know escape of the world, which is currently jujitsu, you know it, it something vexes us because it's like what the fuck? Like these people are destroying their kids, you know. But again, that's part of what Esau's blessing, man. You know he he's the current ruler of the earth, and we we Lord willing. Or we be part of the elect. We're about to inherit our blessing, man, which is gonna be what the the, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema was shot, uh, a kingdom in righteousness, like the scriptures say, uh, where dwelleth a righteousness. Yeah. You know. So uh, this is uh, Romans chapter nine. I'm gonna start at seven. Neither because uh, I'll start at six. Not as though the word of the heavenly Father have not taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. God, that's right, because. Not all of all of Israel is going to be saved this time. You know, we're going through a Passover, which in the ancient time, you know, the Lord delivered all of us out of Egypt. But this time around, he's only going to choose. He's only going to deliver the elect, man. You know, amongst his special people, which is the nation of Israel. Yeah, you got uh, uh, two thirds of our people. They're uh, they're they're basically like heathen right now. That's right. They're in a heathen mindset. They're not in an Israelite of the Most High mindset. And even if you got Israelites that's in the truth, you can tell that they're in a heathen mindset by the things they're doing. So just because you're an Israelite don't make you an Israelite of the Most High. You know, and this is where Vocab Malone and these Christians, they try to flip the scripture around and make it sound like that's talking about these heathen nations. You know, whenever somebody talks about the heathen nations being involved in our blessing, I always ask myself, like, what about the vast majority of heathens that don't even think about the Bible? They don't even think about Yahweh Bashan or the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. They don't they don't they don't have no inclination to do that. What's gonna to happen to them people? Are they gonna be involved in the blessing? And the answer is no. You know, you gotta be an Israelite. And then you also too, you have to be an Israelite of the Most High. Real quick, this is Romans 9 and uh uh 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So that's uh um that's a uh that kinsman according to the flesh is somebody that's related to you by genes you know it says uh if i could wish that myself were a curse from hamashiach for my brother my kinsman according to the flesh who are israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption so that means in order to be adopted back to something you have to once be a part of it and so that when the lord casts the way for our iniquities and sins he didn't do that forever. Even Paul said that 
like had the most high done away with his people, God forbid, by to him an Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin. So the Lord didn't do away with his people. Okay. It says, uh, so we that that adoption that these Christians talk about, that's that only pertains to the Israelites. And it says, um, the glory, which is the kingdom, the rulership, everlasting life, the covenant. Uh, the covenants, those agreements that the Lord set up, he's going to put his spirit in our spirit. Because right now, you ask a Christian, do they have the spirit of God in them? And they'll say, yeah. Like, uh, uh, he said he's going to put it in our minds. So it's in our minds. But then, like like the brother was saying, the Edomite chick, she was talking about her kid don't like to eat no kind of meat except pork. You know what I'm saying? So she feeds her kids this. And I'm sure this bitch is saying she's a Christian. Or she believes in God. You know what I'm saying? No, that ain't for her. So it says the covenants. So that covenant, which is having this word in us. Matter of fact, the, the first one, which was done at Mount Horeb by way uh, of Yahweh Bashan al writing on them tablets and giving it to Moses. Moses gave it to one group of people. Out of all the multitude of people of the earth, that word was given to the Israelites. It says, um, it says, uh, uh, the glory, the covenants, and the giving of the law, which we just said, and the service of the heavenly father and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came who was over all God bless forever amen so Yahweh Shai came for his people he didn't come for these other nations that blessings that Yahweh Shai is bringing the everlasting life salvation you know or rulership and a, a, a perpetual rulership you know that's only for the children of Israel that that's and that's a part of Jacob's blessing that's not a part of Esau's blessing Okay, so going back down, it says, uh, verse 7, neither because, you can finish right here down, brother, neither because they are are the seed of Abraham, are they all the ch all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Because you got two-thirds of our people living in the flesh. So they're not counted. Mm -hmm. And then you got on top of that, you got uh, Abraham. Abraham, had, Abraham had, had six sons, son, eight sons all together. But out of those eight sons, only one son, the promise to stick with. It says, uh, it says, uh, for this is the word of, of promise. At that time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And was that son's name was Isaac. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had con conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet, this is the point, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Heavenly Father, according to election, election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And, the, and as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have, have I hated. That's right. And then ultimately you know or when when you have uh sons your firstborn always gets the the, the big the biggest inheritance yeah. you know but it says there that what this it's according to election because the heavenly father chose or uh, or uh, jacob to give his blessing to yeah. you know and, and 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 as we're gonna go into you know in genesis you're gonna see how esau received the blessing for the meantime because the lord knew that or, or Jacob was gonna go off. The the tribes were gonna go off, and and not keep the covenant. So he gave a blessing to Esau, in in this current time, man. You know, but ultimately that that great kingdom in righteousness, that kingdom in in in, in perpetual or, or perpetu perpetuity was gonna belong to to Jacob, man. You know, which is what we're we're waiting for. You know, this is a, a, another quick uh, precept in Jeremiah three and twenty three. It says, truly in vain is salvation hope from the hills. Hope for. Hope for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh our power is the salvation of Israel. That's right. And the, the salvation, first and foremost, you know, begins with, with the, uh, with the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding being given unto us. Then uh, the little physical salvation and also the kingdom of heaven, man, because... We're even though we have received the gift of faith and this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we're still under captivity, man. Yeah. So our salvation is gonna come when the Lord establishes the 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 kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. You know.
Uh, and that's what we're waiting for. Uh, the elder uh, Kazat Bunny Howard, the uh, Shalom Zakan, he posted uh, 2nd Edges 3 and 16. And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee and put by Esau. So Jacob became a great multitude. That's right. Yeah, so the look. So lucky about that. Uh, so Jacob, uh, the Lord, um, the Lord put by Esau. He put him to the side. It. Uh, I was trying to. I was going to look for the, the simplified version of that. So you can speak, speaking, brother. Okay. That's right. And, and again, it was all because of election. You know, this is the the heavenly Father's, you know, uh, uh, creation. So he does whatever he wants, with whoever he wants. You know, the scriptures say, or uh, has the has the. Let me get it real quick. Well, if you got that one, you can get out that there. Uh, come on, brother. I'm just looking for this. Uh, I'm just looking for the apocrypha. This is the new. Uh, uh, I think this is it right here. The apocrypha. Uh, well, this is uh, our Romans uh, 9 and 21. It says, Hath not the, pot the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? And the heavenly father is, is the potter, man. You know, he's the one that, that created, you know, everything. So it's up to him to do what he wants with with his creation. You know, and he chose a vessel for honor, which is Jacob, and a vessel for, to of dishonor. You know, and obviously he's letting the, that vessel of dishonor uh, rule first so that what? So that he could bring in that, that world in, in righteousness that's gonna be ruled in that with, or with and by that vessel of, of honor, which is gonna be uh, Jacob, the nation of Israel, man. Okay. You know. I just want to get what he said. Uh, uh, Second Edges three and sixteen. Second Edges three and sixteen, and the uh, and then this is the new standard revised version. It says, "You set apart Jacob for yourself." But Esau you rejected, and Jacob became a great multitude, right? So so Esau, let me show this still here. Became a great multitude. Yeah, right? so, so, so so yeah, so Esau, Esau was uh um rejected, rejected. You know, and you got our people in this time trying to find a place for Esau. You got Edomites trying to find a place for themselves in this blessing. It don't make no sense because here it is, we're living in Esau's blessing, and we have no place here. We do have a place, but it's it's a place of oppression. It's a place of, of subjugation, slavery. That's where we're at. But you you know, but these people that don't understand the scriptures, don't understand Yahweh Bashan was shy, you know, they want to try to put themselves or interject interject themselves within the uh within the uh within the uh uh the blessings in the body of Yahweh Bashan Shai's people. And it's not given for them. The Lord put, he rejected Esau. And where else is that written that the Lord has rejected Esau? Uh, Hebrews uh, 12 and 16. It says, though he, he, he said, uh, he found no place of repentance, though he though he saw it carefully with tears. You know? So repentance is not given to Esau, and neither is it given to these other nations, man. So when they hope for salvation, that's, that's in vain. Because salvation is for Israel. And that's all throughout the scriptures. But when we try to, well, not when we try, but when these so-called scholars or apologists come up against us and we start going in the scriptures either one they want to try to stay in the new testament and try to say that it basically contradicts the old testament they discount the apocrypha all of that but we we accepting the whole role and we we giving it to you how it is you know we don't live in a universal world even though they say you do you don't you know because if you go in the, if you go into these edomite enclaves man where they where they stay at you're not going to be accepted and these people, I remember watching an old video where uh, uh, Jake won, it's like in the 60s or 50s or whatever, Jake somewhere in the South tried to go up in one of them Edomite churches and shit. And, and the Edomite told him, man, hey, you worship your God, I worship my God. He said, he said, I don't believe God is an equal person. He said, but don't we believe in the same God? He said, no. You know what I'm saying? Because these Edomites, they're Satanists. They're not going to tell you that, but that's what they are. Because... You 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 set these churches up. They said one of the most segregated uh, uh, days in the, in America is Sunday. 
Why? Because niggas go to nigga church, spicks go to spick church, uh, crackers go to cracker church, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And if you got a mix of any of that shit, it's double the confusion, man. But why is that? Because the most high is a separatist, man. Right. You got it, brother. Um, so you want me to start at uh, Genesis? Oh, uh, kind of hold up. Uh, the elder, he just loading up the scriptures, man. The order, man. I like that. I like when brothers get interactive with us. Uh, Ecclesiastes 33 and 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it his pleasure, it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like of him best. It says, uh, good is set against evil, life against death. So the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. And that's what's going on. The Lord, when the Lord created Jacob and Esau through Isaac, he's, he, he created a wicked person and he didn't just create a, two wicked people. Nah, he had to create the one that was going against it, which was the righteous. That's right. That's why they were always, they were beefing since the womb and we're beefing now. That's right. We get around Edomites, man. We can feel the tension. Even if we act like it's all good. People fuck with us because the spirit of Yahweh Shai is dealing with us. But any other circumstances, man, these people ain't trying to deal with us, man. Uh, you know what I mean? They're, they're just separate. They're just different. It's just like you going to East India. You know them niggas throw shit at each other and do all that weirdo shit? You ain't down with that shit. They wash <laughs> up in that Ganges River. You nigga, Only a nigga that's trying to be a part of somebody will get down with some wicked, nasty shit like that. Okay. But for the majority, you want to stay away from that. Yep. Jake ain't finna do that shit. And Jake ain't getting nobody's river with dead bodies and shit, feces. No, as soon as you smell that shit from 30 miles away, hey, I'm going the other way, man. God. Why? Because we're different. We're set apart. And that's something that in this world, people can't grasp that idea, especially so-called Christians. We're not all the same. There is a tear structure that's set up in this world. And it's crazy. The only ones that truly know this is the super elite Edomites and the super elite Israelites, man. The super elite Israelites are the holy elect, the hopeful elect, and them, them super elite Edomites, man. They don't fuck with Jake like that, man. You got your role. You got it, my brother. That's right. Um, well, I think there was a little bit more on that scripture. You know, oh, yeah, Kyle, yeah keep reading, brother. It says, uh, so look upon all of the works of the Most High, and there is two and two, one against another. And that goes, you know, into, into balance, man. The Lord created good and evil. You know, life and death, and so to represent good and evil, he created two two separate nations out of one womb that were gonna basically be the the the, the complete opposites. Yeah, one was gonna be a, a nation that that ruled in complete righteousness, mm -hmm. and one that ruled in complete complete wickedness, man. Yeah, you know, and that's where where when when the end of one, when the end of the wicked, or uh, uh, comes, the beginning of the righteous stars man yeah and that's where you know the, that scripture that says for east was the end yeah, of the world of six and, nine. and and jacob is the beginning of it that follow it that's why he created esau to show a, a, a world in wickedness so that we can understand how good righteous is man righteousness yeah. is and how to properly judge that's right um oh hey, kind the elder said uh kind not the elder kazak just a humble brother okay kind my bad i thought that was the elder from mississippi but uh yeah kind 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 so, but uh he, he's a humble brother anyway uh elder kazak man so shout out on to that brother and all you brothers on the comment board and you select aqua man and the brother got the elder uh the head brother from uh gms uh in in the land in the truth orlando he put ecclesiastic 17 and 17 for in the division of the nations of the whole earth he set a ruler over every people but Israel is the Lord's portion. That's right, because our people had to beg for a king. That's our right. people had to, they saw what these other nations had, and they were like, Look, we want a physical king on the earth too. But we already had a king in, in our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we didn't need one. The, Lord, the less one, another thing, the Lord set us apart. We were able, the, our king set us up to be uh, rulers of, over, over ourselves, man, on the earth, physically. That's right. But he's our ruler spiritually. He rules everything. Physically and spiritually, but he didn't have to show his face to say that this is my people. He he did that by his works, his hand. He did that. You see his people. These are the separate people right here, man. They different than these other nations. And you see it right now. This shit these other nations do that we just, we just different, man. 
God. I don't care how you try to play it, man. Yeah, I might like the certain heathen women and shit, but I'm not going to do what the heathen women do. They got to do what I do. That's right. Or they got to go. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because we're different. They eat different. They live different. They sleep different. They sit different. He fucking Moabites, they be doing that damn squat. Jake ain't sitting like that for hours on end. Unless you like used to that shit, doing hard manual labor like they do in Hamland. But well, Jake ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, it's cool. You got okay. it, man. Yeah, right here. And continuing uh, Ecclesiastes 17 and 18. Whom being his firstborn, speaking of Israel, he nourished, nourisheth with discipline and giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. Yeah, and that light yeah. of his love is what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I was about to say that. And right. like you were going into, the, the heavenly father let all these heathens rule, have a, a, a chance of rulership, but he never corrected them to become better. They just keep being heathens, mm -hmm. you know? But Israel, he always, when we went off, chastised us, and then always kind of like pulled us back, like, look, yeah. don't go too far away. Yeah. Although there was a time, like the scriptures say that, uh, there shall be a falling away first, but that was to bring what back? The the truth with, with stronger force, man. Mm -hmm. Now in these end, end, end times, because the kingdom is approaching, man. So he was gonna have to do a, a great miracle of, of bringing back that that memory to us of, of, of the scriptures. Yeah, of who we are. Of who we are, yep. We not we not servants. We not slaves. We not niggas. We not black. We not sticks. We not Hispanic. We not Latinos. We not Indians. We not Native American people. We're the Israelites, man. That's right. Okay, and being an Israelite comes with a standard. Just like any of these other nations, they have standards amongst the nations, man. You go to Gook Land and you don't pass by Buddha and put some money on his lap or light up an incense, man. You just walk up in a temple, they gonna bust your head, man. Well, how much more us? If you don't reverence your Yahweh Shem El Shai and do what was said by him, yeah, you gonna put your head bust, man. You got it, brother. Okay. Um, Genesis twenty-five. Come on, brother. Twenty-five yeah. and nineteen. Or nineteen. Genesis twenty-five and nineteen it says, "And these are the generation of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife." The daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pad Padanaram, the sister uh, to Laban, the Syrian. Mm -hmm. And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, the, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So we're, even though we were twins, fraternal twins, we were two nations, man. Those That's are right. two different nations that came out of Isaac, man. One was going to be righteous, and the other was going to be wicked. Okay? Two different manners of people. When you look up that word for uh, 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 two different manners, Salakia, yep two manners or that word for manner it says this two people two manner two uh slakia right here that word for manner is la'am la'am and it says uh it says uh what does it say show right it says uh uh la'am it says uh a, a people, a nation, uh, Salafia. Yeah. I'm just trying to find it. Uh, it says, uh, I don't know. It, yeah. So that it's just two two different people, two types of people, man. You know what I mean? That's why, like the shit that Esau do, Jake don't Jake do it because they found they you know they hypnotized by wickedness, but. You could tell that white people, you know, Jake would be like, oh, that's some white people shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's some black shit. That's some black people shit. Why? Because we're two type, two type of people. It's two type of things, different things that you like. You got it, brother. This is uh, the definition of manner. It says a person's outward bearing or way of behaving towards other. It yeah, like, so like Esau's way of behaving toward other people is to be violent against them, man. And wicked. And wicked. Our way to, to deal with people when we're in our right state of mind, is through righteousness, man. That's right. 
all right through righteousness and through and through uh judgment man that's right you know? and it's it's funny how they have a, a an example quote and it says his arrogance and pompous manner yeah, that's Esau. That's man. Esau all day. But yeah, ultimately, you know, like you're, the the way that you conduct yourself, and these Edomites, you know, like like we read earlier, there, there's two sides of of of, of everything, you yeah. know, good and evil, and and Esau is that representative of evil on the earth, man. Yeah, you know, the other heathen nations, they're somewhere in between. Some try to be righteous, yeah, but go off. Some are like closer to wickedness, but the 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 two poles is. Jacob and, and, and Esau, The man. two extremes. Yep, the two So, extremes. like, yeah, the two extreme op or polar opposites. Yeah, that's what the, I was The thinking. polar opposites is uh, uh, righteousness is Jacob and wickedness is Esau. That's right. So anything in between that, you just, you know, you just neutral. But when you go too far two way, too, you, you go too far either way, you know, that's what you're going to lead to. If you that's continue right. on the wickedness, you're going to end up doing Edomite shit. But if you follow the way of righteousness, you're gonna be doing Israelite things, that's you know. Right. And that's why in the kingdom of heaven, these just like these nations today, they're pushed to do wickedness and evil because that's what they do anyway. A lot of these acts that Esau are committing today, other heathen nations had already been into that kind of shit. They already did it. It just Esau just mastered it because his spirit is 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 is, 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 uh, is connected to that shit. That's right. You know, that's why it worked for him. Jake tried to put their hand in wickedness. It don't work for Jake. It might work for a time, but then it's going to be done. But you got whole families that has been, you know, enriching themselves in this earth because of straight, straight up wickedness. They got, they call them what, oil barons, robber barons. Like if we rob and steal, eventually we're going to get caught. If we kill or murder, eventually we're going to get caught or put to death. Esau been doing that shit for decades, man. And just, and just die old. There's a lot of serial killers out there that just, just, they've been killing. You don't know who they is. They just weirdo Edomite niggas with glasses, weirdo type. Or they might just be your boss, nigga at the job. Hi. And he, he, <laughs> he keep it quiet because the nigga got to let everybody know what they do. And eventually, you know, they're going to slip up because, again, it ain't for you. That's right. It was, there's a scripture that says uh, something about when a righteous put his hands to do wickedness or something like that. Let me see if I can find it, man. You got it, brother. Okay, I'll finish this off. Uh, Genesis 25 and uh, 23 says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall, shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. That's right. And as, you know, we're going into the lesson right now, we're in, in Esau's kingdom, but what's going to be the, the everlasting kingdom? The kingdom of Israel, man. The kingdom of Yahweh Shemawasha, which is in turn our kingdom, man. And he's gonna have to serve us. You know? Yep. Yeah, because uh because it was set up that way. That's part of this is the beginning of the blessings. That's right. Rebecca was told this, but she didn't really understand what she was hearing. But she remembered the Lord put that spirit on her to remember when it was time for the blessing to come down. And that's why you had that the way that had that controversy that happened. You know? Real quick, this is Psalms 125 and 3. Psalms uh, 1. Uh, what's that? Psalms 125 and 3. It says, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth his hand unto iniquity. Man. So, again, when you Jake try to do wickedness, he catch that correction, that rod of correction. You know why? Because we're righteous and we're not we're not wicked. So the rod of the uh, of the wicked will end up resting on them. It says in the, N the NLT in the NLT, it says. Um, it says. Uh, so I can't. I thought I had it. In the NLT version or the NIV, so it's just easier to get. Hold on. In the NLT, it says the wicked will not rule the land of the godly. For then the godly might be tempted to do wrong. So when the wicked are, in, and that's crazy because when we rule the land, the wicked, they're not tempted to do right. Man, them niggas, they, they can't. They can't get it. But yeah. it says, but the wicked will not rule the land of the godly, for then the godly might be tempted to do wrong. And that's what's happening now. Even this land, this land was Gad land and Issachar land. And, and now that the wicked are bearing ruling in it, they're doing what? The, the, the righteous, they're tempted to do 
uh, do to do wrong. Right. That's right. You know, it says in the in uh, in the NIV, the scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil, and that's what happens. We get corrupted. That's the why the Lord set us aside from each other, even from birth. We were set apart because if we around each other too much, we'll end up getting corrupted. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like Esau gonna be made to do righteousness because he got he he ain't gonna have no choice. But even when he does righteousness, it ain't gonna be accepted because he's not accepted. Yeah, because he's just doing it by because he's forced yeah. to do it. It's not like he's gonna change his mind. That's why the Lord is gonna destroy him. Yeah, because Esau is not capable of turning around and saying, you know what, I'm I'm fucking up. I'm gonna just you know follow after righteousness. Yeah. He's he was created to be the the wicked man, mm -hmm. to be that that rebel, that proud yeah. individual. You know the the Lord has showed Esau, I'm sure all throughout history, but chiefly now that Esau has all this technology to look into space and you know mm -hmm. the Lord has showed him that that he exists and yeah. that Esau can't do nothing to combat against Esau. Yeah. I mean that Esau can't do nothing to combat against the heavenly Father, but Esau is still so proud and in his mind. His spirit just keeps telling him, like, nah, we're going to fight the Lord. So imagine the type of spirit that these Edomites have, man. They have a a, a, a spirit of, of super rebellion, mm -hmm. which is the same spirit that was back in, in Cain, that even though the Lord basically told them, like, yo, I know you killed your brother. Where's your brother? Yep. And and Esau still lied to the Heavenly Father, man. So that's why Esau, that those spirits are not going to be on the earth no more. What the Lord's going to do with them? Who knows? But we know he's we're not he's not gonna be seen no more on the earth. Yeah, because it, it, he can't be here. He can't be uh, like two kings can't rule on the same throne. And after he at because even when we look, bring up the the rod for these nations, because we're gonna put the rod out, the iron on the right. asses for a thousand long years. With Esau, if we pull the soon as we pull that rod back, he come to wickedness, man. Yep. So he has to go. You know. And he, that's why he wants to take us off the earth because he don't want righteousness in the earth. He want wickedness. Okay. So you see how it works? Either, we said earlier, the polar opposites. One got to go. Both can't stay. That's right. And Esau's going. Go ahead, brother. Okay. So uh, this is uh, in Genesis 27. Oh, I'll start from the top or? Uh, no, no, no. Keep reading, brother. Keep reading on Genesis 25. Yep. It says... Uh, and the uh, Genesis 25 and 23, and the Lord said unto her, Two nation, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other. And that's a blessing. That's a part of the blessing. That's why when you look at Israel, uh Jacob, we're stronger than Esau in every way. That's you know, right. physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, our our, our molecular molecular makeup is similar. It looked the same, and it could be interchange it shouldn't be but that's what esau does uh but it it, it works different you know mm -hmm. just like in this world jake's susceptible to diseases that esau just don't get like sickle cell anemia edomites don't get that shit that shit jake get that stuff you got it brother you know, and the elders shall serve the younger so that, that's another part of the blessing the elder is going to serve the younger the question is is the elder serving the younger right now? And the answer to that is no. Keep reading. It says, and when her her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Mm -hmm. And the first came out red all over so like the, in hairy garment. So that's the elder. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Not he was hairy. He didn't come out like a goddamn baby wolf, man. No, over, over the time, he got that damn hair on him. You know what I'm saying? But... The, the elder, this is what he looks like because they were what? They were, uh, what do you call it? Fraternal twins, man. One had leprosy, the other didn't. Go ahead. It says, and they called his name Esau. Yep. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Yeah, so, and they didn't give a description of Jacob. Just Jacob looked like his father That's right. and his mother, which were dark-skinned, dark-brown people. But Esau came out with no 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 complexion so his blood showed forth through his skin that's why his name Aisha which was wasted away because he looked like he was wasted away 
but he was the firstborn, so he was still Isaac kid. Okay. You're going to love your kid no matter what. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if he look crazy or he, you know, got a deficiency. If that's your firstborn, that's your first child, you're going to fuck with him, man. You know? And that and, and Isaac was Yahweh Shai. And that's mercy. Even in the blessing that he gave Esau, it was mercy, man. Showing you how merciful Yahweh Shai is, man. Okay. It says and Isaac was three score years old when he when she bare them. Yeah. Uh, it says verse twenty seven, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. So this is these are now they're giving descriptions of Esau. And when you look at when you look at uh I'm sorry, what verse are you in, brother? Twenty seven. Kind. When you look at that in uh verse twenty seven, I just want to read it in a, a different Bible. It says uh as the boys grew up, Esau became a skillful hunter. He was the outdoorsman. Now, who in this world are skillful hunters and outdoorsmen? That's what they love to do. Them fucking Edomites, man. The so-called white man. Jake could get into it, but that ain't the, the vast majority of Jake don't do that shit. They do what? They stay home. Jake keep their ass away from that kind of shit, man. But Esau, he's a skillful and cunning hunter. He's an outdoorsman. But Jacob had a quiet temperament preferring to stay at home and that's jake that's right that's when you see our people jake J hey i'd rather stay at the crib man no, i'm gonna go i'm gonna like if one of somebody come to sure. jake be like yo we're going to the woods today go hunt or go camping no jake like to do some shit like that from time to time but that's esau pleasure man and yeah, that ain't man. our pleasure you're like nah bro i'm gonna I'm I'm chill i'm gonna take it in man and we're comfortable at the crib God, just like man. our forefather man and we had what he had a, he had he had acquired temperament man Jake was chill, man. He was laid back, man. Reminding me of Moses, man. Yeah, he saw he was always looking for for that adrenaline hit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I remember that, that uh documentary I saw. Remember I told you about that? It was like some Edomite. Oh, he said that he, he wasn't was doing skiing. Killing. Yeah, he was skiing and shit. And he was doing some crazy shit. I was like, damn, these Edomites are crazy. And the motherfucker was like, Yeah, I'm glad I found this this hobby. Cause if not, I really think if if I was just a normal person, I would be killing people. Yeah, yeah and I was like, demon. what the fuck? What that's Esau right that? there. Yeah, that's a whole Edomite. That's a whole. <laughs> but yeah, they, they always define death and doing all these. You know, they're they're devils, man. Cause yeah. they don't they don't care about their life. Yeah. You know, they don't fear the they yeah, don't fear the most. Yep. Yeah. It says, uh, and Isaac loved uh, Esau because he did eat the eat of his venison, but Rebecca loved Jacob. Yeah. Uh, keep reading. Mm, yep. Uh, it says, and Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Yeah. So he 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 was impatient. Another another Edomite trait, and he right. ate his meat red. Because when you read Hebrews twelve and sixteen, it says for that. For, for a piece of meat, he he sold his birthright. That's right. And that's something that eat Edomites today, like they don't shy away from blood. They love blood. They eat blood. They bathe in blood. They they shed blood. It's nothing to them, man. Jake would be like, ugh. You know what I mean? Like Jake in the Western world now, they into that shit, but not like in the majority. And here, it's crazy too. In this society, because the, the Lord told us to eat our meat well done with no blood in it, right? If you go to a restaurant in Esau's society uh, and ask for well-done meat, people look at you weird. And they'll burn it, you yeah. know, because they don't know how to properly prepare well-done meat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it got to have some pink in it. Like, no. Nah, it got to be cooked all the way through. No blood. You know? But the, the reason why the blue blood, red steak, uh, tart, steak tartare, that kind of shit, because this is what Edom, it's what Edom does, man. Nice. He's impatient. Because if you take the meat off that early, that means you're impatient. You couldn't wait for it to cook all the way through. And they got people in this world, including the Israelites, in that mindset, that impatient mindset. It got to happen right now. So that just, just sear it on one side, then sear it on the other, and put it on my plate. Like, no, 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 that shit ain't even done. And the more blood dripping, the more enticed these Edomites get, man, by that, sh that, by that meal, man. God, and, and like, I mean, you can kind of extrapolate, you know, in this uh, Genesis 25, it says that Esau was a cunning hunter, so he was a good hunter. Yeah. But you see that right here that day, he he didn't catch nothing. So yeah, the Lord was shit. probably trying to teach him a lesson on patience. And he was just like, ah, oh, fuck, nah, I'm not yeah. going to wait no more. I'm just going home and 
whatever I see, I'm gonna go eat it. Yeah. And he saw Jacob, you know, cooking something. He was like, yo, give me some of that pottage, man, right now. Mm -hmm. No, I want it now. And there we go. He he sold his bur his his birthright, man. Yeah, the brother, the elder brother from uh, GMS uh, in the Truth Orlando says Esau like scuba diving, parasailing, bungee jumping, rock climbing, all Esau stuff. That's right. Oh, that that jumping shit that they glide with no yeah. parachute when the uh, yeah that free base fat, free jumping. Oh, oh that uh, with the flaps in the side of the yeah, like they're a shit. fucking squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fuck shit that is crazy, ain't doing bro. that shit, man. <laughs> Bro, I remember yeah. one time I thought I was just hang gliding. I see that shit, I'm like, no, bro. I don't even play like that, bro. I don't even like getting on roller coasters, man. How about that much, man? Nah, man. <laughs> JK doing that shit. I was talking to the elder. Um, what does talk about that uh, earlier today, how these Edomites got neighborhoods uh, with airplanes with the air in their in driveways and shit. And I was like, imagine what Jake had this. He said, first of all, Jake don't like heights, man. Jake don't like heights, and Jake don't like water, man. Deep waters. Jake don't do that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But Edomites, they go, like the brother said, they go scuba diving, parasailing, free falling. I saw one dude, he jumped out the, he jumped rock out. Climbing rock without climbing fucking, without, without any fucking yeah, ass bro. security. <laughs> like straight up wild crazy. weirdo shit. Why? Because they, they were used to doing that in the ancient the world. It's in a spirit, man. These people didn't just wake up today and decide, hey, I want to rock climb. No, it's in a spirit. They remember that shit from Mount Seir. They was, they was hopping from rock to, rock to rock over there on them fucking mountains, man. Yo, Mount Sayre is bigger than Petra, what you see today. It looks like an old bank or some shit. Like, it's, it, they got a whole fucking slew of rocks, uh, habitations, man. Holes in the rocks, man. And that's where them Edomites used to live and procreate, man. And so they didn't have no streets. They, it just went up. That's why they like skyscrapers. That's why they like to be up high, man. You got it. They're comfortable like that, man. They be playing on a tip of buildings and shit. Like I'm about to mention this one dude, he, he free jumped. From a fuck, he base jump. It's called base jumping. He base jumped from the uh, the twin towers, man. The niggas just threw. They thought he was about to kill himself. People were like, "No, don't do it, don't do it." And he's like, "Are you smiling and shit?" He had to. He tested the wind through a little flag. Tested the wind, whichever the way the wind was blowing. And the nigga just jumped off of that shit. Like, bro, I'd have never did no shit like that. Damn, not on a, not in a million. I know Jake <laughs> did that shit with skydiving. I ain't doing no fucking skydiving unless I got some spiritual power. That's the only way I'm getting. I don't even like getting on planes that much, man. I do it, but I I go to sleep, bro, because I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that shit. Be looking out the window and shit. Like I literally just fall asleep and put my and put my faith and trust in your how about you? How shot, man? Yeah. I remember. I remember when I went skydiving one time, and there was a. Uh, I think he was like a guy that I mixed with Asher and we were on the plane man and he I think he fainted as soon as like they opened the fucking door yeah because I saw his head just go like oh like real quick <laughs> like and then the dude jumped and then I was like I never saw him again but yeah, yeah. hell yeah see yeah Jake don't be fucking with that yeah, shit yeah like fuck that. that shit I mean in the world I did that yeah. shit but now I think about it a lot it's good to say tip not the Lord don't tip yeah. the Lord bro <laughs> He'll take you out. This shit won't open. I saw I saw a video of a dude doing that doing that skydiving shit. He had a he you know he had a fit in the air, man. And oh I, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like like they couldn't touch him. <laughs> they couldn't touch him. I think he was like strapped to somebody, or yeah. he, he was strapped to somebody, but he was convulsing and shit in the fucking air. Why? Cause you ain't supposed to be doing that shit, man. <laughs> you threw yourself into a goddamn fit, and they had to let the nigga have it until he felt he, he, he came back he came, to his senses. Yeah, he fell down. <laughs> shit, if, I don't play that shit, bro. The Lord, if the Lord wanted me to fly that high, he gave me spiritual power or wings. He gave me neither <laughs> one as of yet. So guess what? I'm walking, man. Shit, it's a damn, it's a damn terrible thing driving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Niggas jumping out of planes, y'all tripping. And that's he's eating my shit. Cause Jake wasn't doing that shit before planes were invented. You got it, All brother. Right. It says, um, well, and Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. For I am faint, therefore was his name called Edom. And mm -hmm. Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this uh, birthright do to me? So this so he didn't care about his birthright. He uh -huh. didn't he didn't reverence his birthright. It wasn't something that he thought upon and meditated on. He was like, Look, man, I'm hungry right now. That birthright ain't doing nothing for me right now. And he, in his mind, he's like, oh, I can tell him I'm giving to him. But when it's time for me to get that blessing and shit, he ain't finna get it. So he thought he was getting over on Jacob, but Jacob got one over on him and was all set up in the spirit that way. 
the Lord put it on Esau's spirit to go out to the to the wilderness that day, come back with nothing, hungry as fuck, put it on Jacob's spirit to trick him. Not even trick him, just, hey, look, he negotiated with him. Yeah. That was a negotiation. That wasn't no fucking trick. He was like, yeah. hey, give me, and back then, your word was your bond, man. You had to keep your word, man. Esau wasn't the type to keep his word, so he was like, yeah, I just, it's not going to do nothing for me right now. Just give me the food. Yeah, it's like, you know, like, brothers, you know, in the faith would be going through something, and you talk to a brother like, damn, man, I think the Lord's trying to, you know, uh, teach me something, because yeah. I'm going through certain things or whatever. Esau was just like, ah, fuck that shit. I don't, I'm fucking hungry as hell. Like, I don't give a fuck if the Lord's trying to, you know, teach me anything. Just mm -hmm. sell me that thing. I mean, uh, give me the, the, the pottage, man. Yep. And that was the Lord setting him up, man. Because the scriptures yep. say that, that what? That a, a man's... Uh, going is of the Lord. Going are of the Lord. And it also said in Revel I mean, Romans uh, 9 that neither before they did any good or evil that it was already set up that way. That's right. It says, uh, verse 33, it says... And Jacob said, "Swear to me this day," and I and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Yeah, he just left like it was nothing. Thus Esau despised his birthright. And that's it. So here it is. How can you give a man a, a, a blessing like eternal life if this man he he already despised his birthright? And what was his birthright? Him being the eldest, he would receive the greater blessing. But it was already set up. And told Rebecca that the elder was going to serve the younger, and the, and one was going to be stronger than the other. It was already set up that way. That's right. So it really ain't shit Esau can get mad about. But he's carnal, and he 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 sold his birthright when he was younger. He didn't think about that shit when his dad was about to drop and go back to the spirit world. He just knew he was going to get the blessing because he was Isaac's favorite. And your firstborn is always your favorite. You got it. That was it on that? Yeah. Go to uh, uh, Genesis 27 and 1. Uh, Genesis 27 and 1, it says, And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here I am. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons and quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison mm -hmm. and make me savory meat such as I love and bring it to me that I may eat and my soul may bless thee before I die. Yeah, and, and see, uh, Esau knew he had sold his birthright at that point, but he never told his dad. So he was like, shit, he about to give me this blessing. He don't even know I told that birthright shit that Jacob stole it from me. He yeah. lied. That yeah, nigga, yeah. he stole it. <laughs> That's why they, they call this Jacob's deception. But really, who's the Lord set the deception up? That's right. Jacob didn't do that on his own. Go ahead, bro. In verse 5, it says, And Rebekah heard Isaac and spake unto Esau his son, or oh, and Esau, uh, and went, Esau yeah. uh, went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison. And make me savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Mm -hmm. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kins, kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for your father, such as he loved it. Right, because it was Rebecca that taught Esau how to cook. He had skills, but he had to learn them skills, man. God. And she heard, she overheard it. She's like, oh. The, the, the spirit of the Lord jumped on her. Hey, you right. do this. And she made it just like he liked. She know exactly. That's her man. That's Rebecca right. know her man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She know what he hate. She know what he love. And right. I was shy at the time. He was Isaac. He liked certain type of cooking. Like, oh, yo, get in there and cook that. And she she said, give me them some two kids with two baby goats or whatever. She cooked that goat up, goat meat up like he liked. Gave it the, and keep on reading. It says, and thou shalt bring it to thy father. Or that he may eat and that he may bless thee before his death. And why? Because if she remembered what the angel told her. That's right. The elder was going to serve the younger. One was going to be stronger than the other. <clears throat> Obviously, she watched these boys grow up and saw that Jacob was the one. She knew it any, anyway in the spirit. So, and the elder was going to serve the younger. Be a what? A servant to the younger. That's right. Jacob wasn't the eldest. He was the youngest. So now, oh, go get that blessing. Go ahead. 
And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. Mm -hmm. My father, preadventure, will fuel me, and shall seem, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. Yeah. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be that curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And so he did what his mother told him to do. Then he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. Mm -hmm. And Rebekah took godly, goodly. Uh, goodly raiments and her el of her elder son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. Yeah, so it says, then she took Esau's favorite clothes, which were there, which were there in the house, and gave them to her younger son. So that shit was funky. You know, it's funky. <laughs> And nasty looking, okay. but it was his favorite shit. The, it was the some, one he never washed. Yeah, the one he never washed. The one like Esau, they don't like to wash their shit. Like I, I be wondering, like we be in, we be in uh, jujitsu. We be in jujitsu, man. It's these two Edomite boys. They shit stay dingy, man. I get, I get cringy with my fucking neck. Get yeah. all on, all on, all on geese. The neck get you know ring around the collar because of the sweat. But Esau, he come up in there sweaty. It was a nigga in there today that was stinking, man. And it wasn't me, and it wasn't him. <laughs> Cause I always, before I blame anybody, I smell myself. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. Just to make sure that nigga was, that nigga was funky, man. And he comes like that all the time, man. Like he, he just he be sitting up in the class, laid out like it was nothing. He got four stripes. Oh yeah, but yeah. He just be laid the fuck out, bro. No discipline, man. Just nigga, just just laid out like he at home or some shit, waiting for the next move. Barely talking to class and shit. I don't, I ain't never, I don't even like to be a bro. I remember uh for this for the um. For the seminar, I had to uh, Russell. I had to spar with a little Edomite boy. He was like 14, 15. I think like 16, 17. Anyway, he was a younger man. And, you know, I'm grown and shit. I'm big. And the, and the Edomite, his trainer was with him. He's like, yeah, look, do him because he's big. I want you to get with a big guy, you know? So I get on the motherfucker. And he's. <laughs> like, nigga, what the yeah, fuck is you here for, bro? How you got stripes, bro? I got no stripes, bro. <laughs> And you like, you strike the fuck up, but you don't even want to do it. Because these niggas dirty. These niggas stinky, man. Bro, you think that motherfucker left jujitsu and got in his car and went home and took a shower? Oh, fuck no. Man. That nigga went, got on the game, went in the room, jacked up. I don't fucking know. He did some weird <laughs> shit. He ain't going to do what we going to do. Every time we, I know every time I get the fuck home, bro. I take shower, this shit up man. and wash my ass. I've been rolling on the mat with people and shit. Like, this, this guy, I don't even like my own sweat on that shit. But he saw, he loves that shit, man. Oh, the gym, you know, you got it. Bro. Yeah, I was like, I, I was watching, <laughs> so like, I was watching a, a fucking reel, mm -hmm. and there was a like a, a. She was she was a Jake. I don't remember if it was a North. No, I think she was a Southern Kingdom, mm -hmm. and she was saying, "Oh, how how often do you have to, you know, replace your panties?" And then she put like four to every four to the five months or whatever, and then people were doing a reaction, and the, these eat of my bitches came on, and they were like, "What?" I keep mine for like a decade and shit. I'm like, what and the that's what, fuck? Well, that's what they did in the ancient world. Yeah, that's what they bro. did. Uh, they, they said they kept their drawers until they disintegrated, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. holes and shit all in them shits, man. Stains all on them shits, man. That's what they get down, man. Bro, I, I'm always buying drawers and, and, and <laughs> under, so. undergarment products, man. Hell yeah. You know, I don't man. even like, I don't like that shit, bro. I mean, human bodies have a natural scent because of the, the foods and the, the wickedness of this world. But, bro, you try to keep clean, man. Oh yeah. Fuck you, man. But that's Esau. She so she put his his favorite clothes on him. Go ahead. It says, and and she put them and she put the skin of the kids of the goats upon his hands and yeah, upon the, the was hairy. of his neck. Yep. And she gave the savory meat and bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I. Or, or who art thou, my son? It says, oh, and Jacob oh, said unto his father, I am Esau, that firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? Mm -hmm. And he said, Because Yahweh, thy power, oh, brought it to me. So and that shows you that Esau knew the heavenly father's name. He knew right. Yahweh. He knew how he got there. But he was always a rebellious piece of shit, even back then. Okay. You know what I mean? Go ahead, brother. Well, and Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, with 
whether thou be my very son Esau or not. Mm -hmm. And Jacob went near unto Isaac, his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And they were twins. So I'm sure and they, when you're yeah, around similar, similar, similar uh, reflections uh, or afflictions in a voice, but he knew the difference. He's like, oh, uh, but he was like, no, nah, he smelled like him. He feel like him. And he was blind. Basically, Isaac was blind back then. But he could hear. And you know, your hearing goes up. Your sm smell go up. So his eyes were dim. He could barely see if he could see at all. But he could hear. So he's like, ah, uh, it's him. I felt him. It smelled like him. All right. Go ahead, brother. And he dis uh, discerned him not because his hands were hairy and his brother, as his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him, mm -hmm. and he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. Mm -hmm. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. Mm -hmm. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, <clears throat> and he brought him wine, and he drank. Mm -hmm. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, uh, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord hath blessed. Mm -hmm. and therefore, the Most High give thee of the dew of heaven mm -hmm. and the fatness of the earth mm -hmm. and plenty of corn and wine. Mm -hmm. Let people serve thee. The nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. So Jacob's blessing was the, the real blessing, the greater blessing. That's it right. says in the NLT, from the dew of heaven and the richness of the earth, may God always give you abundant harvest of grain and bountiful new wine. It says, uh, um, so like here. and bountiful new wine, this is the NLT. And it says right here, in, uh, for the following verse, verse 29, it says, May many nations become your servants. So these nations are going to be our uh, our servants, our slaves, man. You know, Jacob, I mean, Jacob, uh, what's the dude? Vocab Malone doesn't like to hear that, but it says it right here. It says, and may they bow down to you. May you be the, wait, may you be the master over your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. All who curse you will be cursed and all who bless you will be blessed. So that was that greater blessing. That was the difference between us. Our blessing wasn't the sword. Our blessing wasn't wickedness and evil. Okay, it wasn't getting dominion over our, our over the nations by, by taking the sword out of their hand and then holding it over theirs heads. Nah, it was it's a natural thing. The natural order is that these nations are to be servants unto us. We are to be masters over them. But we're not in that blessing right now because we're still living in Esau's blessing. That's right. Okay, keep reading. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and hey, Jacob was a stolen blessing. It wasn't God. stolen, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and Jacob <clears throat> was yet a uh, scared, gone out, scared, gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting, and <clears throat> he also had made savory meat and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat. Of his son's venison that thy soul may bless me and isaac his father said unto him who art thou and he said i am thy son thy firstborn esau and isaac trembled very exceedingly and said who where is he that hath taken that hath taken venison and, he was and brought at me and isaac was like shook like what the fuck because you know nobody's supposed to do that shit. you come up to my house and you steal a blessing from me but he didn't steal it it was like he was scared because he's like oh shit I blessed this man. It don't matter who he was. If it was right. Jacob, it was somebody else. He knew it was Jacob. But obviously he knew it was Jacob. But once the blessing was gone, it was like it was nothing he could do. He couldn't take it back from him. Because the right. spirit of Yahweh was shy was on him to do that, man. So he was scared. He was like, oh, shit. Go ahead. And I have eaten of all or before thou camest and have blessed him. He, yeah, and he shall be blessed. It says right here in the NLT, Isaac began to tremble uncontrollably and said, then who just served me wild game? I have already eaten it and I blessed him just before you came. Just before you came. And yes, that blessing must stand. That's you right. see? 
because he did it in the sight of the heavenly father Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you can't, you can't, we didn't make empty oaths in the ancient world, man. That's why the Lord say our word is our bond. We got to get, just like his word, he's bound to his word. We are bound to our word, man. And That's so he right. said that blessing must stand. East, Jacob won't have servants of other nations. All his brothers going to bow, all them servants, gonna, nations going to bow down to him. All his brothers, his brothers are going to be servants unto him too. That go from, uh, that go from all the Edomites, all the Keturah kids, the Midianites, and all the rest of these nations. They go on bow, man. It's a fact. Nobody can change that. That blessing must stand. Go ahead. It says, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great, with a great and exceeding bitter cry. So the nigga had a temper tantrum, man. 40-year-old man had a fucking temper tantrum, bro. Lost his mind. And that's understandable. He was grieved. But he just lost it, man. He starts knocking down, knocking over shit. Slamming shit to the ground, flipping the plate over the, that he just made, and crying like a bitch, man. That's right. And started begging. Though he sought it carefully with tears, yet he was rejected. That's right. Go ahead. And he said unto uh, unto his father, Bless me, even me, oh, uh, even me also, oh my father. And he said, <clears throat> Thy brother came with subtility and hath taken away that blessing. And he said, Is he not? A rightly named Jacob, for he had supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken oh. away my blessing. Oh, this nigga's a liar. That he lied right there. That's right. He, he said, Thy brother came with subtility and taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is he not rightfully named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, which he didn't. You negotiated for it for that red pottage. You gave it up, nigga. So that shows you that you was a liar, man. You lied, nigga. Yeah, yeah he came with subtlety, but it was set up that way. He listened to his mother, unlike you, nigga. That's right. You didn't listen to your father or your mother, man. They told you not to marry them Canaanites. You did it anyway. They told you not to deal with them Ishmaelites. You did it anyway. You know what I'm saying? You it was always rebellious, man. We could never do nothing together. This nigga would just, just, he'd just be bugging out, man. Okay. Always outside and shit. Always hunting and shit, coming in like like you know what I mean, weirdo type nigga. He was always could never get along with this nigga, man. Always fighting on this nigga, man. Every time yeah, turn around, real. this nigga swinging on you, like, like what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, you know I said so. Whooping his ass, get that nigga in the fucking guillotine chokehold, choking the fuck out. Yeah, for a couple minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's always strong too, man. That nigga was you know what I mean, and he stunk, man. <laughs> Good nobody can't fuck with you, man. You a weirdo, man. So then you didn't. When reality hits you, you couldn't accept it. Just like you don't accept it now. Yeah, he he so doesn't accept his his mistakes. He doesn't yeah. take accountability. No, because no. if, if he took accountability for for his actions, he would have been like, "Damn, I did sell him my birthright, father. Yeah. Is there, you know, like any way I could have a blessing?" Instead of saying, you know, crying like a bitch, man. Yeah. You know, and he, who knows what could have happened? But this is what what went on. The Lord set it up this way. It says, now hath he taken away my blessing, and he said, has thou not reserved Hold a on, blessing brother. for me? This is brother, uh, humble servant, uh, Arawan, Deuteronomy 21 and 15. It don't, it don't fit this, what we're talking about right now. That's for when you have a wife that you hate her. If she have a firstborn, uh, you, that firstborn son can't be put aside because you hate the wife. You got to still give that kid the blessing. It says Deuteronomy 26, 21 and 16. Then it shall be when he make of his sons to inherit that which he have, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn uh, before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. Yeah, that's that's not for this. That don't that's not for this this topic right here. That's just just in case you got a wife that you don't like her, or you got a wife that you love, then that wife, the wife that you love, she might have a firstborn son too. And then the wife that you hated had a firstborn son before that one. You can't give that hated, uh, I mean, the love, the love wife son, the greater blessing, because just because you hate the old, the mother, you got to get that son the, the blessing, blessing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah, because this one, you know, Isaac was, he thought it was Esau, so he yeah. gave him, you know, the, the, the blessing as it was supposed to be. Yeah. It says, uh, <clears throat> and Isaac 
or answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, mm -hmm. and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and <clears throat> what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Yeah, I, in the NLT it says, Isaac said to Esau, I have made Jacob your master. <laughs> I have made Jacob your master. And I have declared that all his brothers will be his servants. I have guaranteed him an abundance of grain and wine. What is left for me to give to you, my son? It was nothing. That was his. That was all Isaac had. He gave him everything. That's right. You know what I'm saying? God. It was like, I ain't got nothing else to give you, man. What you want me to give you, man? Keep reading. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept. And it says, Esau pleaded, But do you have only one blessing? O oh my father, bless me too. Then Esau broke down and wept. He started crying, man. He knew it was over. God. He knew it was over. He said, man, fuck, man. Man, he got everything, man. I'm done. I'm done out here, son. That's right. Go ahead. And Isaac, his father, answered unto him, and <clears throat> unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Mm -hmm. And by thy, thy sword shall thou live yep. and shall serve thy brother. And it shall be, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have uh, the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So his blessing, Esau's blessing, let's go back. Uh, 39 Yeah And Isaac said unto it Yeah uh, We go back In the NLT It says Finally his father Isaac Said to him You will live away From the richness <laughs> Listen to this You will live away From the richness Of the earth And away from the dew Of the heaven Right So he was going to live Away from that uh, Verse 40 right 39 Yeah Y'all read 39 just now right. Verse 40 It says You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But when you decide to break free, you will shake his yoke from your neck. And then he was able to take the world. Okay. When he was break, he broke free. He broke free when he was under King David. No, no, after King David had died and after Solomon had died, um, he uh, the Edomites re the Edomites rebelled, okay. and they started taking shit by the sword. See, Jacob was Jacob was going to naturally get all these inheritance of the earth. But Esau, his blessing was that he was going to be away from all of that. That's why when you go to Mount Seir, none of that stuff was there. They had the King's Highway where they basically, they could cut transportation off, made the transportation for goods and services. But when you go to Petra, it ain't nothing growing out there, bro. Not, yeah. not a stitch of grass. There ain't a stitch of grass out there. It ain't abundance of the earth. He got that fatness of the earth by That's way of the sword. sword. So his blessing was that, again, let me read that again in verse 39. Uh, verse 39 in the NLT It says Then Isaac his father answered and said to him Behold your dwelling shall be The fatness of the earth And the dew of the heaven from above And I'm sorry that was the KJV uh, He says in the NLT finally He says your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness Away from the dew of heaven above And that's why even in um, In York That shit's called a bottomless pit, pit. Because it ain't much of nothing out there. No no real natural resources. The riches of the earth, wherever Esau is at, they don't have riches of the earth, man. You go to Mount Seir, that riches of the earth ain't there. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't full of minerals and deposits and shit. None of that. No gold and silver. But where Jake was living at, all that stuff was readily available, man. Even, when, even over here in the Americas, man. That's right. But when he was able to break free, this is part of his blessing. One, he was going to live by the sword. That's a destructive item. That's a destructive piece of equipment. So with that sword, he was going to kill people, destroy people. And that's how he lives to this day. Okay. Two, he was going to live away from where he where he naturally was at. Was going to be away from the fatness of the earth, the richness of the earth. Right? Now he see he got it, but he got that's it through right. robberies, still and murdering through the sword. That's right. So... That's the difference between their blessing and our blessing, man. And right now, as you can see, the world that we're living in, we're currently living in Esau's blessing because everywhere Esau is at, he wasn't he wasn't originally from there. He went over there through conquest, through lies, terror, and all that other shit. Murder, murder, death, kill. Okay, okay? that's how he got there. 
He don't belong in none of these places. I don't care if you go to Europe, you go to Scotland, Ireland, the Netherlands, you go to South Africa, North Africa, Americas, the Americas. He don't belong in none of them places because that wasn't his blessing. His blessing was Mount Seir. And if you ain't there, and if you somewhere else, you're out of here. But our blessing is the whole entire earth. The fatness of the earth is for us. I want to go back to that. What was that, uh, Jacob's, I mean, uh, when the Lord blessed, I mean. Uh, 37. Oh, no, it's a lot. Uh, 27, he came there and some. Uh, see, 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 before I give the, right, uh, verse 28. 20, 20. Uh, in 28, the NLT, it says, from the dew of heaven and from the riches of the earth, may God always give you abundant harvest and grain. So the heavenly father didn't give Esau abundant. Hey, that's why right now the earth is not yielding its fruit. That's why he got to, wherever Esau is at, he, his wickedness touches the land. So he got to add all this kind of extra stuff, fertilizer, all of the stuff, nitrates and shit to get shit to grow in abundance for him. Because if he doesn't, it ain't going to grow for him, man. That's right. When when Gad was over here in the Americas, maize, all of that stuff grew in abundance, bro. And they they did did something called the uh, the land Sabbath. Land Sabbath. So every seven years they would move to a different place and start planting land, and they would let the other place where they previously planted rest. Why? Because there was the Israelites. Esau don't let the land rest, man. He 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 harvests and all year long, man. All year long, he don't take no breaks, man. And that's why the earth is in the shape that it's in. That's why we got GMOs and yeah, all that bullshit. Yeah, fake foods. Man. You know what I mean? Like, we, we can't even eat properly out in here, man. Because shit is fucked up. They selling pork on the market. We were talking about them eat them, that Edomite woman talking about feeding her kid pork, man. And you think in the kingdom of heaven, pork is not even going to be on anybody's menu, let alone in the store to purchase. If you collect, if you purchase a hog, it's going to be used for that reason. A pig or a hog or whatever. A swine is going to be used as a refuge eater. Refuse right. eater. A, ref, a, fruit, a refuse eater, man. That's what it's going to do. It's going to, you're going to slop old food that you don't eat, food that you that you may not get rid of and burn. You're going to throw it in a fucking pig pen, and they're going to eat that shit, man. And they're going to eat it up. They're right. going to let nothing go to waste. Okay? You're going to have no, no fucking landfills where food is just rotten. Now you got pestilence. You got birds and shit. Uh, un unclean birds eating that shit. Like, no, nah, you got fish eating it. That's not going to happen, man. Okay. Everything's going back to its right food place. Nobody's going to be digging to the bottom of the ocean or the seas for uh, for uh, crustaceans and shit. Yeah. Crab, lobster, shrimp, conch, and all that other shit. You ain't going to be eating that shit. That stuff cleans that, 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 uh, um, that uh, habitat. Just like the pigs and other unlawful, un you got other creatures too. Like if a dead carcass hit the ground and shit, you know, that's what the vultures is for, man. That's what the uh, ravens is for, man. Maggots. All that's that what shit. the uh, yeah. That's what the maggots for. That's what the ravens for. That's what the uh, hyenas is for. You got animals that clean that shit up. Okay. You know. It says uh, <clears throat> oh, back in uh, Genesis twenty uh twenty seven, and verse. 40 40 it says and by thy sword shall thou live and shall and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shall have the when thou shall have the dominion that thou shall break his yoke from thy neck mm -hmm. and esau hated jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him mm -hmm. and esau said in his heart the days of mourning my father are at, are at hand then Will I slay my brother Jacob? Yeah, and it says in the NLT, from that time on, Esau hated Jacob because their father had given him. And, and from that time, and from that time on, Esau hated Jacob because their father had given Jacob the blessing. And Esau began to scheme. I will soon be, I will soon be mourning my father's death. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. And that's what that's he's right. doing today. Right. The, the NWO is nothing but a big ass scheme to get the blessing back. That's right. That's all it is. I'm going I'm to I'm destroy. Because in his mind, the Heavenly Father ain't watching over us. He ain't coming back for us. He ain't, he forgot about his people, man. So let me kill these people. And not only did Esau think that way, but even his children today, starting with the Rothschilds, the super elite Edomite families, they believe and think that way. 
That's right. You know, they've been scheming to get that birthright back, man. And that's what it's all. They're going to tell the average people that. Yeah, and if you think about it, you know, Esau, Esau never fell away from knowing who they were, man. Yeah. You know, th that curse fell fell upon us for disobeying the Lord. So if you look at it at a, as a, you know, as a, like a hierarchy of people, like the, the top elite, Edomites always knew who they were. So they passed on that knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, they went into captivity under Jake at a certain uh, period of time. But then they still knew, like, yo, those people ruling... Europe and all them like we gotta fucking get them mm -hmm. and that's when when they came back like the scriptures say that the devil shall be loose for a little while yeah. they came back with great deception man and to vengeance. try to to try to get rid of, of of Jake and convince the whole world that they are the people of the most high man yep that's right and so this this has been Jacob's blessing versus Esau's blessing and you go you notice that check on learning Jacob got the greater blessing Esau got the lesser blessing but Esau is living by his through his blessing right now. And he thinks he's going to scheme his way to getting two blessings. But he don't realize that he's about to be cut short and cut out the earth. Esau's blessing is the sword. This is why he uses the sword with, with perfection. You know, he does wickedness and evil with perfection. And this is another reason why there's enmity between us. You know, it was already set that way in the womb. But now it, it grew through through, it, through through over the process of time and through different circumstances that happened. This is the reason why these Edomites hate our people. And they, they don't even know why they hate us the way they hate us. They just know they just can't stand us, man. Right. So, and you know, their time is coming to an end. Close up, brother. Hey, so with that, Akiyam and Aqua, we hope the lesson was satisfying. Again, all praises, yeah. honor, and glory go to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great Muslim for teaching us truth and for ruling well. And peace salutation to all you Akiyam out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as see you believers anyhow by Shimao Shai, the man as well as the woman. Hey, shalom till next time. Shalom.